Good evening. My name is Brother Herman with MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org. This is a nonprofit organization solely commissioned, appointed, and anointed by our Holy Trinity, the Most High Godhead. That be our Father God who art in heaven, His Son, and only begotten Son, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as well as the Holy uh, Spirit. We have been anointed and appointed to bring forth correct truths, correct informations that can be utilized, operated in, which will translate into the correct knowledge. Therefore, when Jesus says in Hosea 4, 6 in the Great Bible, my people perish for lack of knowledge, we can lessen that number. We are targeting societies less fortunate and that of those of us who are walking around our brothers and our sisters in the aired informations because they've been taught in air by whomever from the world, not of God. So we're going to be used by God to bring forth the correct truth so that they can operate in knowledge, the correct knowledge, God's knowledge, not the world's. When we do that, they'll have a chance to transition from societies less fortunate to societies most fortunate, which is those of us who already have received the correct knowledge, which I've entitled our birthright because it is sufficient enough for us to have a certain amount of knowledge in order to navigate through this thing we call life. Inside of MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org, which is a nonprofit organization website that will be up shortly, we have entitled a segment entitled Brother Herman Sermons. And these are nothing more than just mere teaching tools to help us cope through life, to jump over hurdles, navigate through trials and tribulations and challenges, face each obstacle, and overcome each one. We have done several different series. We started out with series one, which we entitled God Soil for Human Growth. Inside of series one, we begin episode one with the ministry of reconciliation, which is our ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. His mission was to come back, and he did that, to buy back the lost souls from our arch enemy, Lucifer, AKA Satan and the devil. Well, if we choose our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, then our soul is bought back from the devil based on our faith and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's mission. So then we went on to episode two, which we began in the characteristics of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is everything from humility, love, faith, knowledge, self-discipline, and the like. All of these characteristics traits are known as the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which can be found also in the great book, Our Holy Bible. Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 25. We ended series 1 with episode 13, entitled Tolerance. We then started series 2, which we entitled God's Lessons and Our Receptions, because we need to change our attitude not just this attitude, which is our mind, but also this attitude, which is our heart, in order to receive every lesson that we have to go through on earth. Every trial, every tribulation, every obstacle, every challenge, every hurdle has to be looked upon, perceived in the right attitude so that we can receive what we've learned as a correct lesson learned so that we can then go on and grow forward or onward in our journeys through this thing we call life. Not only for ourselves, but for the ones that we are called to also be used to teach or minister, serve to, which means everyone's going to need something that you've been through. So we have to have the right attitude to receive correctly so we can receive it correctly so that we can teach it correctly. That, that is what God's lessons and our receptions is all about. We did 10 episodes in series two. We then went on series three, which we entitled God's Blueprint for Our Battle. The battle over what, Brother Herman? The battle over our souls. Because the war of who's going to govern, who rules the souls, has been won. And that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So says the book of Revelations. But there is a battle of, of your soul. So you have a choice still as whom you're going to serve. Either you're going to serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, or you're going to serve our, the, our arch enemy, the devil, Lucifer, Satan. So in the book of Joshua, verse, uh, chapter 24, verse 15, it says, Choose this day whom you're going to serve. As for me and my household, 
we're going to serve the Lord. We are going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So the blueprint is the Holy, the Holy Bible, the basic instructions before leaving earth. And once we get this blueprint, we're able to have a, a, a example of how we're supposed to live while we're here on earth, inside of God's green earth, inside of this world. That is why Jesus says, do not be conformed to this world. It is not your home. But yet make the world conform to you, which means we have to take on the character of Christ, operate in Christ's character in order to get the world to see that it's a better way of living instead of just existing without Christ's character, which would make them jealous, envious, and want what we have, thereby making up their minds to transition from Satan's army into Jesus' army. That is what the blueprint is for. And that is what the battle's over. The battle's over our souls. We did 10 episodes in that series 3 as well. We then began series 4. We entitled it, God's Tools for Our Success. Inside of God's Tools for Our Success, we're going to find everything that we can possibly come up with to battle or cope, uh, battle every obstacle or challenge or situation a problem that we might be called to face and overcome and nothing more better to have than more coping skills more coping tools than you already have so inside of this series we're going to find a lot of coping tools we're going to find some tools to look at situations differently we're going to also be able to look at how our lord and savior jesus christ might have viewed it versus the world uh, everything that we're called to face and overcome we begin ep uh, episode one with true recovery and that again can be defined as uh, battling addictions uh, devices that we all have we all have a device uh, overcoming each one that is what that's, that episode was over See, uh, episode two was on schizophrenia because we're talking about people who are being clinically diagnosed as uh, schizo, mentally disturbed, and we don't believe that to be the case. We believe that they are afflicted with demonic spirits. And it's not because we believe it, it's because that's how our Bible reads it. And that is what the Holy Spirit teaches those of us who have ears to hear and eyes to see. And today's topic is going to be on just that. No, no, no. I'm skipping one. Episode three was on insanity. Because to do something over and over again and expect different results is the definition of insanity. And we touched on that. We looked at it. We also used a good, the prime, primo, the, the perfect example of how Satan keeps doing the same thing over and over again telling the same lies but twisting them and spinning them around but he still gets the same results so take a look at episode 3 and see how we did that one and now today we're going to deliver episode 4 which is on Legion Legion we're going to take a look and see what that looks like we're going to dive right into it if you want to assist us in this ministry you can cash up us at Dollar sign, capital M A I, capital C D E, capital T R U T H, and we appreciate whatever the Holy Trinity moves you to assist us with. Now, Legion, what does it look like? Let's go ahead and take a look. According to Webster, this is how it's defined it says Legion, a large military division, a multitude. So we know that we need to break that down a little bit further. So we're going to dissect each word. According to Webster, division means to separate or become separated into parts. Multitude means a great indefinite number. Indefinite means no distinct limits, no limitations, not clearly defined. And military, well, that means of soldiers, the armed force, Forces or warfare. According to Webster's Dictionary in the world, that's what Legion represents. 
But according to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, or the Holy Spirit at least, coming through the pen of Mark, in the book of Mark, in our Holy Bible, chapter 5, verses 9 through 15, it states this, And he, the guy that was afflicted, asked him, no, 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 and he, Jesus, asked him, the guy that was afflicted, what is your name? And he answered the guy that was afflicted, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And it goes on to say, All the devils begged him, saying, Send us into the swine. Verse 15. And he that had the legion inside of him was sitting clothed and in his right mind. So he got healed after Jesus commanded the legion inside of him, the legion of devils, to exit the body and go into the pigs. When the passages above are read, then understood, it allows a great deal of clarity into the kind of war our Lord Jesus fought. In this battle, we true followers are called into. We each have to pick up our cross and we each will be persecuted and attacked. After much studying, development, preparation, and training, those of us left standing with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be sent into this battle over our souls. Again, the battles over our souls. The war has been won, so says the book of Revelations. And not long into this battle over our souls does our adversary Satan begin launching his attacks at us, which are, are known to be more so spiritual in nature. So we war against spirituality, not the flesh. Because they are demonic spirits in form, Satan and his fallen angels will attack, primarily using God's creations, that be you and I. You against I, I against you, we against us. Our human flesh, a.k.a. God's temples and or our vessels will be used for this battle over our souls. So because of this truth, the demonic spirits using humans as their vessels for traveling, as well as for battling for our souls, it becomes vitally imperative that we are educated and enlightened by God's word. Then once enlightened, we must also make a decision. So says Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. To choose wisely which side we are going to pledge our allegiance to. And then once we make that decision, we have to also make a decision to serve which side we choose wholeheartedly. That means put your all into it. And out of 1 John, the book of 1 John, not John, 1 John chapters 4, uh, uh, verse 4, it states this. All of you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he, Jesus, that is in you, the Holy Spirit than he that is in the world, that be Satan. So Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Father God comes in to dwell inside of our vessels. We are going to be persecuted and attacked by the world, people in the world, but it's not the flesh. It is the demonic spirits inside the flesh, which is Satan and his fallen angels, his demonic hosts that are going to be inside of that flesh that's going to come against us. But greater is he, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Father, than he that is in us, than he that is in the world, which is Satan and his fallen angels. And all of those who come against us will have that demonic force inside of them. Our Father God is the creator of all things, including our vessels and our souls. So says the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. The Holy Godhead also created our adversary who became our enemy due to jealousy, covetousness, envy, and pride. And because Satan is jealous of our Father God and all of his children, all of his creations, especially us humans, whom better for Satan to go after with sole intention to destroy. So Satan comes to steal, kill, 
and destroy. He's going to first come to steal your peace because if he can do that, then he can he can uh, kill your joy, a.k.a. kill joy. And if he can do those two things, he's going to be able to destroy your faith. And if he does that, you're back bound and bonded to him. Also, whom better to use as vehicles for launching his attacks against God and us, mankind, each other. So sometimes a person is plagued by merely one mental disorder, so says a clinical valuations. Oftentimes a demonic spirit, as we can clearly agree from above using God's word found in the great book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. And other times the person will be plagued with more than just one mental disorder, qualifying them to become labeled as schizophrenic, a.k.a. plague with a legion of demonic spirits. So the clinical terms label it schizophrenic. The biblical term label it as a legion of demonic hosts. If the person is battling within themselves over some sinful act they committed and have either not heard about or received, or I should say, and or receive the good news of Jesus' salvation, which is the gift that he came to buy back our souls, they become the weaker vessel of choice for Satan and his demonic militia to infiltrate and begin using for minor attacks, such as annoyances and agitations targeted at novices or the beginners, those of us who have ch just chosen Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And even the elders, those of us who's been walking this out for years. So now then, if the person is plagued with more than one unrepentant sinful act and has by this point chosen to reject Jesus' salvation for saving his soul, his or her soul, and providing him the peace, him or her peace of Jesus' salvation, then their soul belongs to Satan and they forfeit what their vessel they forfeit their bodies this kind of weaker vessel makes the perfect vehicle and weapon for a legion of Satan to use against team Jesus that be all of us who have chosen Jesus as our Lord and Savior only no matter the count that Satan can come up with no matter the count he can never ever outsmart our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, nor outthink our Father God, who art in heaven, his own creator and holy Godhead. Hence, it's this kind of never-ending fruitless behavior that gets labeled as the definition of insanity, which we touched on in the last episode. Doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results. He's going to lie He's going to manipulate. He's going to try to deceive you. He is the father of lies, the father of deception, the father of manipulation. He's going to make you try to, he's going to try to make you think that he can do these things, which is to overthrow God, but he cannot. Because misery loves company, he's going to do whatever it takes to have you join into his misery. Because even Satan can trick a few, torment thousands, and even deceive millions into pl pledging their allegiance over to his side, their number could never, ever become greater than Holy Godhead Most High. Again, would just just common sense, Would you, do you really think that our Creator Godhead would really create a creation that could ever become capable of overthrowing his Godheadship? I don't think so. My answer would be no. Wherefore, choosing wisely, Using the truths of God's word, the basic instructions before leaving earth are blueprint, such as when we clearly see Jesus healing the many sick people with di diverse diseases and tormenting demonic, demonic spirits whom were possessed with devils in Mark chapter 4 verses 24 through 25, or how a demonic spirit can be cast out of a person and come back with seven other demonic spirits, even worse than they are, they enter back into the same person because they never asked Father God to send into their hearts 
his Holy Spirit for the cleansing and also for the Son of God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and Father God to dwell inside their vessel, which will protect against any and all unclean demonic spirits. Jesus says, Behold, I knock, and for those who open their door, the door of your heart, I and the Father shall come in and sup. That means to dwell with you. But before they come in and dwell, the Holy Spirit's going to cleanse it up. So we have not because we ask not. And those of us who are still plagued with these demonic hosts are those of us who never took in the, t the time or thought it necessary or important enough for their soul to ask. And all demonic spirits will vanquish from the body once we do ask. As we read or read in Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verses 43 through 45, in these truths, it becomes evident that neither Satan nor his so-called legion of hosts are a, ma a match against Holy Godhead Most High. So therefore, if we then choose Team Jesus for our servitude, because we're going to serve somebody. You're going to serve either Jesus or the devil. Make no mistake about it. We must also do so with a whole mind, a whole heart, and a whole soul. That means wholeheartedly. This means that if we wish to overcome the wiles of the devil, the wiles of Satan, we must also stop hanging out and playing with his children. Thus, we can no longer give the enemy even an inch for like any vessel filled with the demonic spirit of greed, they will try to take a mile. You give them an inch, they take a mile. How much more so a vessel filled with the legion? We have to be circumspect. We have to notice and take note of who is around us. We have to just listen because they will tell you who they are. Out of the heart, the mouth shall speak. We know this because it says so in our great book, our basic instructions before leaving earth, our blueprint. We have to understand what legion really means. We have to understand that the world's going to tell us a lot of th different things and give it a lot of different labels. It's going to label it as le or, uh, schizophrenia or, or mental anguish, mental depression. But it all comes down to legion. So choose wisely, listen, open your ears, pray, look up, ask God. If you're real, show me. Send me the Holy Spirit to start the cleansing process. Send me your, 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 your son, your only begotten son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to be my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And watch and see, don't he answer. When he answers, you'll understand the truth versus the facts and the opinions. Because everybody has an opinion. And the facts can be twisted and manipulated according to who is telling it. And usually that's going to be Satan. Because Jesus says, I am the truth, the way, and the life. So Jesus doesn't speak on facts. He doesn't even speak on opinionated matters. He brings the truth, and that is why he was rejected. We are going to be used to bring you the truth. We are going to be rejected. Jesus warned us, but we're not worried about that because we're backed up by our Holy Trinity. We're not worried about a legion. Once again, this has been Brother Herman coming to you again with another one of Brother Herman's sermons. We pray that each one listens and can hear one, catch some, eat it, digest it, so that you can become able to teach it. Until next time in Series 4, God's... Uh, tools for Our Success. God's Tools for Our Success. It'll be episode number five, which we have entitled An Unconscious Conscious. Again, series four, God's Tools for Our Success. Episode number five coming up, An Unconscious Conscious. You might want to definitely be tuned in for that. We're going to take a good look at it, dissect it, and see what it looks like. Till then... If you want to help us and assist us, you can cash up us at dollar sign, capital M-A-I-K-U-M, -M, capital C-D-E, capital T-R-U-T-H, and we'll appreciate whatever the Holy Trinity moves you to assist us with. Until then, you have yourself a great rest of your day, and may God continue 
to bless us all. Thank you.